Uh, hello and welcome uh, to this project. So before we start coding, let's take a look at uh, what we are going to build. So we will create a contact uh, app using Laravel 12 and Inertia.js and Vue.js. And to use uh, our application, so the user needs to be registered and logged in. So let's create a new user. register and once done so we are logged in and here as you can see so we have the contacts so no contacts for now and we have the user so the user can log out here we have the favorites and also here we can create a new contact and also search for a contact so let's create a new contact so the contact has named phone, company, the email, the job, and country. So let's start filling form. Let's give it phone number, job, company, and country so let's add a country here and once we submit uh, so the contact is added successfully and as you can see we have here the we have here the company the name the job and phone number and email and also as you can see we have here the country so you will see how to add countries with flags as you can see here and also we can add this contact to our favorites uh, or remove it from our favorites uh, list okay so let's add another one so let's for example add name here so job uh, also a company and here let's add a country and hit submit so as you can see now we have two contacts so we can also here as you can see we can filter or not filter we can order contacts from uh, z to e to a or from a to z okay and also we can search for contacts so let's add here name hit uh, search button and as you can see we have here the contact and as we have seen before we can add contact to our favorites and once we click on the favorites link so we have here the favorites also we can update uh, contact from here so let's for example uh, update uh, name and country let's use uh, usa and hit submit uh, and as you can see it's updated and also the country also we can uh, remove uh, a contact uh, and contact deleted successfully and here we have uh, the pagination so if we have more than 10 uh, contacts so we will show the pagination links okay so this is the project or the application that we will create. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new fresh Laravel application. I have already done this step. So next, uh, what we need to do, we need to create uh, the models, the migrations uh, and controller. So let's start by creating uh, the first model, which is uh, so i think it's the first and only model that we need which is uh, the contact so let's add here make model and call it contact and we need also the migration the factory and controller so let's and also let's see if we can create also the seeder and controller and hit enter and let's see if it will create all uh, the files we need or not so as you can see all the files uh, has been created so we have uh, the model 
the factory the controller and add migration the controller and seeder so let's first start uh, with the, the migration so here we have uh, contacts so we need to add the fields that we need so let's copy and paste so we have the first one which is the uh, name so let's add here string and this one will be name okay or oh, let's remove uh, this uh, and copy same thing again from here so as i said so the first field will be the name the second one uh, will be the email and email needs to be unique and also we need the, another field which is the phone and we need a job uh, title and what else we need we need company company and country and what else we need we need country code so using the country code we'll know so we will know which uh, country to display or the flag to display for the for the users or for the contact country okay so using the country code so as I said, we have the name, we have the email, the phone number, the job title, the company, the country, and country code, okay? And also we need another one, which is uh, the foreign uh, key, which will be the user ID. And we can add it using foreign, foreign ID. Foreign, so I have a missing G or G here so foreign id and here let's give his name user id and it's constrained constrained and we need also to add the uh, cascade cascade on delete so once we delete user so we will delete contact so now we have foreign ID which is the user ID and we are done with the, the contacts migration we have also another one for the favorites so the user uh, will have uh, will have many favorites and also the favorites will belong to many users so here we will use pivot table so let's create the migration for this uh, pivot table so php artisan make uh, migration migration and let's call it uh, favorites or uh, not favorites let's call it uh, create favorites pivot table okay so it's enter and we are done so let's move back to our uh, migration so it's here so this one needs the two foreign uh, keys which are the user id and uh, the contact id so let's copy and uh, paste here so we have uh, the user id and as i said also the contact uh, id okay so user id and contact uh, id so that's all uh, for uh, the migrations uh, next uh, let's move to the factories so here we have uh, so let's copy from the user so you can uh, reuse it also for the contacts so let's copy from here and paste here inside contact uh, factory so let's move down and paste here so we have the name so we can use the same thing which is fake name and we have uh, the email so we can use the same thing and we have here the phone number so let's copy from here and paste here so we need to use the phone number and we can use phone phone number with the extension extension so phone number with the extension and we don't need this so let's remove this part 
and also what else we need so we need phone we need job title and we can reuse the same thing here so just copy and paste and here for the job title so we have also job title so we can use faker to create a job title and also we have the country and the country also we can use faker so let's copy from here and paste here and use country and also we have the company so let's also use company and what else we need we need the user id so let's copy from here so here we have the user id and we can use the model which is the user model to get all uh, the users and get uh, a random user id okay so we can call id here and don't forget to import uh, so let's import uh, the model which is the user model from models uh, so not from here so sorry i made a mistake but from uh, models uh, so let's do that again so from app uh, models uh, user okay so now we have the factory so they have the name email and also the phone and the job title the country the company and user id okay so next uh, what we need to do we need the, to add the or to add seeder and seed the, the database okay so let's do that uh, now